but I have to be very brief. I wish to make it very clear that this is a great gathering, long overdue, should have happened many years ago, and it's the beginning of great things. But we must focus on the issues and stop trying to be too politically correct. Oh, yeah. And let's look at those issues very briefly. In this nation today, there are slaves called vassals and there are masters. Unfortunately for us, those that see themselves as masters consider the rest of us as slaves and vassals. Simple. What we need to do is to come together and say to them with one accord that we are no slaves. We have never been slaves and we will never be slaves. The suffering of the people of the Southeast, and I say this without any fear of contradiction, the suffering of the people of the Southeast is something that we in the rest of Nigeria have to apologize to you for. You lost almost two million people in the Civil War. Children, one million children. You were slaughtered on the night of January, uh, of the night of July 28, 1966, when 300 Igbo officers were slaughtered in one night. And the great Fatui, who sacrificed his life to build this bridge, and the great uh, and the great leader of our country at the time, the great Ironside, all of them stood together and they all died together. 300 were killed that night. After that, a few months later, over 100,000 Igbos were slaughtered in the north. Pregnant women had children taken out of their stomachs. People were slaughtered from house to house. They were killed like flies. Then came the Civil War. One million little children. One million little children were starved to death. After that, year after year, decade after decade, pogroms, killings, slaughtering in the north of primarily Igbos and also southerners didn't stop there. They also, as they have always done, slaughtered people of the Middle East. And I'm glad that the great Governor Jan is here today, who has spoken so well. Their people have suffered almost as much, if not more, than the Southeast. Why? Because everything was taken from them, their identity, everything. And they slaughtered them morning, day, and night. Last Christmas, 808 people slaughtered on Christmas Day alone. Yet the slaughtering didn't stop, and we know who does the slaughtering. It has gone on and on till today. Yesterday was Benway, today it is Taraba, before then it was Duman. It goes on and on, and I will also say this. What has happened in the last one year in the Southeast concerning those that are members of IPOL, what they have done to them is absolutely reprehensible. It is unacceptable, it is wrong, they came, they slaughtered, they killed. And I stand and I speak to you today that as a friend to the great Nandi Kanu, I will never forget him. And I call on the government of Muhammad Buhari, whatever you have done to him, wherever he is, I ask you to produce him and let us have him. Whether you killed him, tell us. Whether you have him, tell us. Bring him back to us. Acknowledge him. And I also acknowledge the hundreds and thousands that have been slaughtered the young IPOP warriors, the young Igbo warriors, the Yorubas that have been slaughtered over the years. Many don't know, we have them here. Many of our people were locked up, were killed during the June 12th struggle by the same people. Many were driven into exile. Abiola was killed. Abiola's wife was killed. It went on and on. But let me say this. The time of reckoning has finally arrived. Once the strength of the Igbo and the strength of the Yoruba come together. The time of reckoning has arrived. The hegemony of those that have ruled over us since 1960 is hereby broken in Jesus' name. Finally, let me say this. I call for the proscription and the banning of Mieti Allah, who are those that control the Fulani herdsmen. I call that the federal government should ban them declare them a terrorist organization and they should block them. I call on this government to recognize the rights of the people of the South, to recognize the rights of the people of the Southeast and the people of the Southwest. And I recognize the fact and acknowledge the fact that as long as we stand together, nothing can stop us.
Nothing can hold us back. Nothing can, nothing can hold us down. Let me end by saying this. Please, let me end by saying this. The struggle we are facing and the blood that has been shed has attracted all manner of evil upon our nation. If anybody expects those that shed this blood habitually and those that have a clear Islamization agenda and those that seek to destroy the Christian faith and the body of Christ, if you think they will change, they will not change. But let me say this, the time for that change has finally come. I commend the organizers of this meeting. I commend the leaders of the East. I commend the leaders of the West. I'm so proud of them. Chief Olufala is there. I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of I'm so proud of Abade Banjo. These are strong men. I'm so proud of so many of them because they've been saying these things since the 50s, the 40s, since the 60s. Throughout, they were telling us we didn't listen. But let me tell you, they are living to see the beginning of the end of the hegemonies, and we shall be delivered. Finally, let me say this. One more thing. Just one more thing about the Igbos. Your sons. Your greatest sons in the private sector. It's all about politics. I'm talking about people like Innocent Motors. Chief Innocent Chukumeka. I mean, Chukuma, sorry. I'm talking about people like Ifai Yuba. I'm talking about people like the great Kleto Sipetu, who I spent time with in detention. These are men that this government is trying to destroy simply because they come from the southeast. They've done it to us as well in the southwest. I could mention names of many South they've tried to crush. But I'll tell you what, it all ends as from today. And I urge the organizers of this event to continue the initiative. We have no fear. They can kill us. They can send us to jail. They can destroy us. They've already done it. They've killed our children. They've killed our wives. They've killed our men. They've killed our elders. They've killed our leaders. We have no fear. I say to them, do your work. You know what? Do your work. You can only kill the body. You can't kill the soul. You can't kill the spirit. Christians don't die. They only change your dress. Doesn't matter anymore. We have no fear. God be with you. God be with those that organize this, organize this, this, this great conference. God be with the people of South East. God be with the people of South West. God be with you and every other one. And if they say they will not restructure, if they will not restructure, let it be loud and clear. We are ready to do it by force. If there's no restructuring, let there be no Nigeria anymore. Okay. 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 Okay.